Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Surreal Beliefs and my YouTube channel focuses on storytelling through games like Crusader Kings 3. Today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to dive into the features of the Royal Court. Here to help me is Hugo Miller. Welcome to another lesson. I am Hugo Miller, advisor to those that will listen. We return now to the Royal Court and discuss inspiration and projects. Through these means you can acquire artifacts of significant value. Now. Let's begin. Inspired characters are skilled artisans with an artifact project in mind. If you choose to sponsor them, these artisans can make an artifact of high quality for you. There are even adventurers who can journey to find the world's rarest artifacts that only they can find. We'll cover one such journey later. Inspired characters are landless and will be far more attracted to courts of high grandeur. Inspired characters can be hired for gold. If they're skilled, they will be pricier. You can also hire more than one of them at a time. You're only limited by gold and available inspired characters. If you don't have access to any inspired characters, you can instead commission a local artisan to begin a project for you. But it will be of lesser quality and can only be done every five years. Item quality will depend on what the artifact is and the skill of the artisan. For example, martial and prowess lend themselves to forging weapons while writing a book scales with learning. Let's go through the process of crafting an item. Kess has a weave inspiration. She's competent at her craft, so we'll give her a shot. With 50 gold invested, inspiration is now in progress. The time it takes to complete will vary. Events can also trigger during this time, which can be good or bad. In this case, Kess is able to help the Emperor of Nubia with a personal problem. She's going to add a dedication to the masterpiece she's making to please one of Emperor Samson's friends. And finally, her inspiration is realized. A masterwork tapestry that can hang on our walls. There's even an inscription to the Emperor's friend as well. Now, let's look at Kadafo, who has an adventurer inspiration to go to Persia. He's a legendary warrior and will likely succeed on his quest. Prowess, learning, and diplomacy will determine an adventurer's competence. At the start, we can tell him what to look for. The Emperor in this case will trust his instincts, and Kadafa will send missives to update us on his progress. In this particular missive, Kadafo shares how his party has been hiding for 10 days and nights from a bandit lord. Of his many choices to resolve this conflict, the Emperor believes in Kadafo's prowess and that he'll fight through. This leads to the bandit's death. And finally, Kadafo returns with the legendary banner of the Persian blacksmith Kaveh. The Emperor has decided to place this court artifact right above his throne. Thus concludes today's lesson on inspiration and projects. Now you know how to engage with the skilled artisans and adventurers who come to your court. In our final lesson, we will discuss court positions and traditions. Be sure to subscribe to these lesson plans so you don't miss a single one.